and here I come. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Arindam and you are watching the Teaching Doc. And today's video is not about stock photography. This is about maintaining your computer. And uh, today what I'll be doing is, I'll be telling you how you can clean up or free the space of your C drive. Especially if you are like me and if you are doing photography and a lot of videography, your C drive space will just die okay especially if you're using adobe products so right now what i did was i am showing you i have selected all the files of c drive including the hidden and read only file and let's wait for a bit and we will see what is the total amount of file size that's there in my c drive so you can see it's approximately 66 gb so my c drive is 280 gb so if it's 66 gb so a lot of space should be free but it is not okay it's not showing what's free <laughs> you get my point so there is a lot of file that that are hidden files that are not showed up in windows option so what exactly you need to do okay so first you need to do step one click on windows go to software distribution okay windows software distribution and download over there delete whatever file you have okay you can press shift delete that will permanently delete them so first step windows software distribution download there will be few files which will not be allowed to delete you can simply skip them okay you can see there's 600 megabyte of unwanted files and there's a lot of file that will simply plague your computer okay so in the meantime when they're getting downloaded what we will do is we will take out the command prompt run and over there in the windows plus r button we'll get this we'll need to type prefetch p r e f e t c h if you type prefetch in the command prompt menu run menu you will get all these files this is totally not needed okay simply delete them okay one single file that is remaining it's fine skip that not a big issue 193 kb meanwhile our previous deletion has already been done so now Again, you need to keep on run or command or cmd, whatever you want. And then you need to type temp, okay? Most of you already know this, Windows temp. There's a lot of temporary files over here, not needed at all. What you need to do, you need to select all and then simply press delete. Whatever is not allowed, you can skip that one, okay? Till now. Please follow me if you are having problem with your C drive space okay you're getting filled please do what I'm doing in this video and then we can continue with your stock photography now next you need to type percentage temp and percentage okay this command will take you to the local data so you see app data local temp there's a lot of temporary file simply select all and delete them <laughs> okay believe me guys there's a lot of junk waste crap that is killing your disk space <laughs> right fine uh, we are skipping something which is being used so 3350 items are being deleted okay fine take your time delete in the meantime what we will do is okay I'm doing it real time okay I have not pre-recorded this session so whatever happening it's happening live so next i'll go to windows and properties and click on disk cleanup okay over there tick on every option so tick on every option that's there okay so windows disk cleanup click on every option and then click on cleanup system files okay in them in the tab in the windows properties tab there will be something else okay you just need to wait till this windows update continues and then again this window will show up okay do you want to permanently delete these files yes there you need to click on yes the first step is the calculation step and the second step is actual deletion of these files okay so guys there's a lot of step that has been done okay there are few exclusive steps that are applicable to Adobe users if you're using Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Premiere Pro After Effects the softwares that I use to make YouTube videos then 
your life is gonna be hell even if you use filmora for video editing there's a lot of problem so you just go to adobe temp okay these are the folder adobe temp directly in windows you can simply delete them okay 1 gb i, I just checked okay 1.01 gb not need a temporary internet files or temporary media files the job is already done i have made the videos i have uploaded them simply continue okay if they are saying this file is needed just ignore okay fine so let me think what can be the next step there are still a lot of things that needs to be done okay you can say i have merely deleted anything huh? but you will see the magic soon go to windows users and your username okay windows users and your username this step especially for those who are using adobe products then go to okay app data so windows users your username app data roaming okay adobe okay common okay and then not this folder media cache is a small folder but that one media cache files this is huge see 30 gb these are simply cache file a lot of junk is in there okay if you are using premiere pro this folder will keep on increasing day by day and it will make your life hell just note this app data adobe roaming common media cache file <laughs> okay you see i have already deleted so much okay this single step just made my life so much better now you can do is open up windows okay and you see live kernel report okay you don't have permission simply click on yes and then again you can click these files so windows live kernel report if you are using so you can see this is a 2 gb file okay 1.98 gb it was not shown right simply delete it you don't need it again go to users right do what i am doing app data local uh crash dumps fine these are files information when your program crash and it creates a dump file not needed okay delete them local crash dump not needed so 138 gb is now free open up c windows mso cache okay all users simply delete them delete windows mso cache all users okay i believe now we are done you see 141 gb free Whew. so guys that was it i know this is not a stock photography video in this channel i make videos about photography and stock photography and how you can sell your photos and videos to earn money but this is a necessary thing that you need to know okay if you follow these steps i can guarantee you your c drive will get a lot of free space and you can continue your photography photo editing video editing and i'll be seeing you soon with more stock photography videos next week till then bye and take care